Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, your comments, and everything that you share with me in the channel. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the rules and reverse them as needed. And if anything is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, please feel free to leave those messages for somebody else so you can always come back and watch the message later. So the first card out is the Hierophant. Um, there could be something that um, about a judge or something spiritual or something to do with religion. There could be something about a hierarchy here. There could also be something about you teaching someone something. I just heard the keys to the kingdom. There could be um, some kind of level up that's happening for you. This is also card five, so there could be a change here. I'm noticing the pillars behind uh, that also look like the ones that are in the High Priestess card. So there could be something uh, really significant to do with like a portal to do with religion or spirituality where it's like there's some kind of connectedness. You could be dealing with a Taurus or have that sign somewhere in your chart. There's something about um, your intuition here also. It's like it's just underneath something and it has to do with a level up. So... There could also be something about a contract. This contract could be spiritual or this could have to do with a marriage. Um, this could have to do with somebody that you were married to or there's something about a contract. It has to do with like a higher, a higher contract. There's something about um, your focus also. Um, the Ten of Swords is here, so there's someone that this energy is attached to where there's been some serious betrayal. So this could be somebody that you were in a contract with or that you're currently in a contract with where there is some kind of serious betrayal. Um, there's a lot of swords here, so this could have to do with communication. It could have to do with thoughts. Um, there could be something about... Uh, communication somebody used to hurt you. That's weird. I also just got thoughts of stabbing somebody in the back. Um, there's some something about someone committing to that. It's like somebody committed to the energy of betrayal. There could be proof of that here. Um, this could also have to do with children. There could be some kind of offer that's coming towards you. Or there could be um, receipts for something. Or there's something that someone has committed themselves to, like, regarding harming you. And it's, they're seeing something, there's some something here about an offer. Or this is them wanting to come towards you after they have already harmed you. Or they've committed to harming you. There's something that's being... Um, looked at. You could know this is coming towards you. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see. There's something about um, something being off in the distance. This could have to do with action someone has already taken towards you. Yeah, I'm getting something about someone has already... Um, 
done everything that they could to put the final nail in the coffin for a situation. It's like they committed to that. There's something around um, this is happening. It has already happened. They committed to betraying you. And it's like now they could be wanting to communicate whatever they're wanting to commun communicate. It's like you could know that this is coming in or there's something about this person looking inside themselves or looking at you and wanting to say something to you. There's anxiety here or um, I just heard depression over this offer. And the Ten of Wands. So whatever has happened is already, it's like however far somebody's going to take something, they've already taken it to as far as they can go with betrayal or with burdens. And there's anxiety here. And there's something to do either with children or proof of a situation that someone is looking at. And there's something about communicating around healing or around your energy. And here's the fool again. So this came out in the last reading. There was really heavy energy of that. So I'm getting almost a repeat message of um, someone wanting to come towards you to change something. So, why is this coming out? What else does the collective need to know about this energy? The Empress. So, there could be something about your abundance that's here. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Empress. There could be something about this person seeing you this way. Or, let's see. This could be after they've tried to cause confusion or there's um, something that's being hidden here about balance and moving on. Moving on from greed or moving on because of greed. Someone could be wanting to recommit to you Yeah, this is something that they could be seeing at this time or there's some kind of um, justice or protection or something that's going to be communicated um, at uh, some kind of a higher level to you or for you because of this betrayal. There's something about your strength that's being highlighted here or you overcoming all of these obstacles whenever it comes to... Um, anxiety or fears or something that's been very heavy for you to carry there's someone this is like the divine or someone in a position of authority who's going to be uh, giving you information this information could be something that makes you happy but I'm um, It's very fast, whatever this is. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, you could also be dealing with a Leo or Taurus, Cancer, Libra, Aries, Virgo. So I'm seeing someone wanting to communicate with you, but it has something to do with you taming some kind of energy you overcoming something 
and whatever this offer is that's coming in, it's like it's coming in very quickly. Um, it could be coming directly to your home. This could be someone who is not allowed to come to your home. There's, it's like this is a very big offer. And it looks like it has something to do with communication, whatever this is. There could be a lot of communication coming towards you at this time around um, whatever this offer is. So let's see. This could be somebody that you're in some kind of a dispute with or where there's been some competition and this competition has something to do with um, lies that you've overcome or some kind of theft. Why is this person out here? I'm, this is almost an identical message to the last one that I posted. So someone's coming toward you. This could be quite a few people actually where there's um, several masculine, masculine energies that are here. There's something about these people coming towards you and there could be some kind of competition over a celebration or whatever union you're going to go into. There's also something about a lot of this happening at one time. And then something ends. And this ending has something to do with your silence or maybe you don't have to say anything. Maybe there's something that it's like all of this energy is coming towards you where people are fighting or competing or um, doing something deceptive. And it's like there's something about being still during whatever this commotion is. There's something about your silence and your emotional stability during all of these messages or this communication. And it's like that's what ends something. So there's a death here, which is a big transformation. This can be a death and a rebirth. And it's something that your intuition is telling you or you know that something is going to happen. You know that this could be happening with a group of people. There's something about um, someone viewing a bunch of betrayal that has been it's like there's proof of whatever this betrayal is whatever i'm seeing there's something about it's like a clue that comes to light or something that where there's a um it's like the tip of the iceberg is being revealed but that's enough for whatever this this is that's being seen and that's part of whatever is showing up here that's ending something because it's like you don't have to say anything because someone else in a position of authority is seeing something. And this is going to bring in good luck. There's some kind of change here. There's good fortune attached to whatever this is. So it's like someone putting you in competition or fighting and being deceptive brings in some kind of good change. And I'm seeing a few people here. So um, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and then the Ten of Pentacles out right after that. So this is like, it's like something small leads to something very big. And it looks like it is something bad. It looks like it's betrayal and chaos and fighting and deception around someone who's either pretending to be emotionally stable or there's something to do with someone 
someone's outer appearance and how they're processing something. And there's something about you being silent, daring communication, or daring a bunch of back and forth. Because there's something about this communication being immature, or it's like the wrong way for someone to go, the wrong kind of communication for somebody to be um, offering. It's not right, whatever this is. Someone could be using a group of people or family or friends or some sort of materials or something in order to communicate something that's um, like they're moving in the wrong direction by doing this or they're being immature by doing this and there's someone who's seeing that. This is bringing in um, some kind of partnership. There could be a family dynamic here. There's something about a father figure and confusion. There's something about someone offering something up about your family in order to create confusion. And this is the wrong way for someone to go about something. There's something that someone in a position of authority is seeing. It's like they're they're seeing this without a lot of words. I don't know what that. Let me see. Show me the emperor. Yeah. Yeah. There could be um, some kind of family dynamic that is. Um, there's like pain attached to it and it could have to do with your father or someone in a position of authority that's in your family who's like a father figure or this has to do with someone that you have children with. But it's like there's something here that's attached to pain and um, immature, um, <laughs> immature evidence is the way that it's coming out. And whatever confusion is trying to be caused here Let's see what this says. You're protected from this. So I'm seeing someone who's trying to manifest something or create something for themselves. And they're doing something to hurt you in a deceptive way. They're doing something um, lying, cheating, stealing, fighting, using something to be combative. And whoever it is that is viewing this, whoever this Hierophant energy is, um, there's something about them, like they are a teacher or they are someone in a position of authority or they are someone with the keys to the kingdom. There's something about that. Like, like this is not somebody who can be fooled. There's something about conformity or tradition here. Um, there's something about tradition and betrayal, like... Uh, this is not the first time that this has been done, whatever this is. And so whatever this person is communicating, whatever they're saying, um, whatever's being offered up, it's being seen for whatever it is. You need to know that this is something that you're going to move on from where there's um, you're being protected from whatever this is. There's something about this person. I'm getting like someone saying something petty or offering up some um, information in order to control something. But instead, it just brings in an ending. Yeah, and that's the message. There's clarity here. And whatever, whatever this is, if this is resonating, you need to know that the truth is going to be seen through this information. So if somebody's saying something to try to uh, swing something in their favor or cause harm, it's going to be seen for exactly what it is. There's a truth here. There's some kind of breakthrough. And they're not going <laughs> to just flipped around whenever I was trying to put it down. 
they won't be making any progress in this. There's some kind of tower that this is actually going to bring in. Whatever it is that they're doing is going to bring in some sort of a tower or something unexpected. So whoever's trying to manipulate something by way of betrayal or by way of offering up something, it's like not only is it good news for you and does it bring in clarity around abundance and something to do with the way that something is viewed, it's, it's showing, number one, for you to be silent or that you are you will be silent at the time that this information happens it's like you don't even have to say anything because there's something that somebody is seeing and it's showing how immature someone is and it brings in some kind of change and clarity about this person being in this energy being toxic or controlling or abusive It dethrones someone. So show me the tower. Magician. I just got to be careful what you wish for. So whatever this is, it's like someone inadvertently does something. They manifest, they manifest a tower that leads to poverty for them. So all of the things that they're doing here, whatever this is, this plan, it's like this plan where they could be involving several people. It's like, I'm seeing two people here, so maybe a couple, there's someone in some position of authority, but they're not super high in the hierarchy. Um, but it's like somebody that they're planning with. And then two other people who end up like wounded or left out in the cold completely because of this plan. Whatever somebody's trying to do, you're protected from this. It's going to be seen as immature. It does not bring in anything other than change, but this change is good for you. There's some kind of clarity that gets seen. There's a truth that gets seen because of whatever this person does next. There's something that they do that um, brings in some kind of like collision. That brings in loss. This um, For me to have said collision, there could be something in here about a car accident. Yeah, and... This brings in a lot of deep regret whenever it comes to whatever they've been doing. So whatever next actions this person takes, um, I got a similar message than the one. Um, I got a similar message to the reading that I just posted, but I guess there was more information here. So it's like there's someone who... It's like they end up taking a leap of faith And they're trying to offer something, whether they're offering this to you or they're offering up like evidence as proof of something, whatever it is, it brings in a change because they're doing something either for the wrong reasons or they're moving in the wrong direction or this means bad news for them or it's like there's something here about them being immature. And so there's immaturity here. And then I saw the high priestess um, talking about silence. I was like, you're not even going to have to say anything because there's some kind of um, change that happens because there's a truth that's seen or there's some kind of breakthrough about someone working on something either that they've not gotten any progress in or that they're doing for the wrong reasons. And it's like this brings in a tower and it brings in a lot of pain and regret or that's the energy here. There's someone here feeling that way. Like actions that they have taken will be judged by someone, whether this is you know, God or a judge. Um, it's like they're, they know they've done something immature that's going to be leading to their downfall whenever it comes to finances and a plan or that's what's coming up here. So if this hasn't happened, that's what I'm seeing. That there's some change because of an immature action that somebody has taken. 
and it's leading to, um, I'm just seeing destruction here. There's some kind of energy shift that happens because somebody tried to plan your demise or they tried to plan something that was uh, meant to cause you trauma or pain. So let me see. Is there any advice for the collective? The lovers. I just heard yes. Invest in something. I just heard make good choices. Um, there's a decision that you need to make to invest somewhere with whatever it is that happens. There could be something that you're receiving from the divine. If you had a question, the answer is yes. For others of you, there's a decision here that you are going to need to make to invest and in moving on. Yeah, that's what the that's what's here. There's also something about reaping what you sow. There's a decision to plant seeds somewhere to help this transition. So if there's something that you need to get in place um, in order to make a transition smoother, there's that's what your advice is at this time. You You do need to know that you're protected from whatever is happening here. For some of you, this is giving me blackmail. And it's like, this is going to be seen for what it is. Because what whoever this person is, um, this person in this position, they this isn't the first time that they've seen somebody do whatever this is. So it's not it's not like it's a a new trick. It's going to be seen for whatever they're trying to do. And when I was looking at this card, this is the first time I've noticed that underneath um, the hierophant, the robes are blue. Like if. Um, they're the same robes from the high priestess. And so I was getting something about tradition, but also um, intuition. So something that somebody uh, knows, like whatever their tra traditional standard or traditional way of thinking is. It's like this person uses tradition, but they also use their intuition. And this isn't somebody that can be fooled very easily. And so whoever this person is presenting this to, whether this is you or someone else, there's something about it being seen for what it is. So um, <laughs> make good choices. Um, plan to invest somewhere else to be able to transition away from this because that's what you have coming up here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.